just bought. Something I'm super, super, super excited about. I'm gonna show you what this is in a moment. What I'm super excited about is this. It's my newest stack of books. I have two books here from Sadhguru. He's gonna be one of the newest Mind Valley authors and a new book on uh, how to avoid climate disaster by Bill Gates. Not only that, I also bought this little, this little pen holder. On this pen holder are the faces of many of the greatest writers and philosophers the world has ever seen. From Kierkegaard to Berkeley to Voltaire to Machiavelli and Bacon. I bought this to remind me to spend time over the next two decades of my life diving into the work of each of these beautiful men and women. And as I go through their books, I'm probably going to circle their faces. Now, why am I so obsessed with books? Well, it wasn't always this way. Reading used to be something that was painful for me. We've all heard, readers are leaders. CEOs have to read a book a week. But you know, when you have so many other commitments in life, that can be difficult. And that's why I started studying speed reading. In my own book, The Code of the Extraordinary Mind, I talk about a concept called refresh rate. I say that if there's something that you do in the form of personal growth, whether it's reading or working out in the gym or cooking a nutritious meal, every now and then, extract time from doing that act to invest time in how to do that act better. This means every few months, I skip my gym session to read books on human anatomy, workout, and fitness. So the next time I go to my gym session, I've updated myself on the latest science. And likewise, every now and then, I actually skip my regular programmed reading to study how to read better, to refresh how I read. Why is this important? Think about the last time you studied reading. For most of us, it was when we were six years old. Think about that, folks. We read the same way we read when we were six. But what happens when you actually take time to fine tune how you read? Well, here's what we found. A, your comprehension goes up. And secondly, your reading speed goes up by almost three times. This means in the time it would take me to read one book, I've read three with better comprehension. How do we know this? Well, in a survey of a thousand Mind Valley members who started Jim Quick's super reading program on Mind Valley, at the end of just three weeks, the average reading speed increase was 270%. Now, let me tell you what this means. If you're reading 270% better with better comprehension, that's almost like reading three times as much. And what this means is that you are learning so much faster. You are going through books so much faster. Every time you pass a bookstore, you buy more books because reading is so easy. It's so exciting. It's so much fun. So if you look around my apartment, I have books everywhere. Those are the books I've written. I have um, books literally in every freaking corner of my apartment. And I probably buy something along the line of 10 books a month. So now the next logical question is, how do you study speed reading? Well, I want to show you how I did it. I wanted to find the best speed reading teacher out there. Out of something like seven experts I looked at, the one name that constantly was delivering the best results and was just the most amazing guy to learn from because of his charisma, because of the way he teaches, was Jim Quick. So to go deeper and understand Jim's philosophy and his methodology and how he does this, join me in a one-hour masterclass with the one and only Jim Quick.